Hey FTC, it's good to see you again and you have completed VB1 installation for some reason you want to use the WSD on this case instead of move button for me personally I still are getting used to this move button layout because it's difficult for me many times that because of this jump button on the lower side or down side of the controller Many times when I want to input down, I accidentally input up. So, I still need time to get used to it. Meanwhile, WSD layout is very familiar for us. We touch a PC keyboard like every day. And the layout is just uh, natural. It makes sense. Up button is on the upper side. Down button on the lower side, left button on the left side, right button on the right side. It's just makes sense for our brain. It's easy. Okay, so I will show you how to install WSD on the Iris. <coughs> of course, you will need an Iris WSD. We have the regular model, which also you can use on this VB1. And this is the new model, Iris WSD Pro. We will show you how to install the Pro model on this VB1. You can also install this on the VM6 and VS1R. So every V case is compatible. What is different is we got many requests to use the low profile switch and this time we try to use the low profile. It is Kyle Chop switch silver. So because of low profile, it's easy to do a slight input. And we put a spacebar or up key. Have to having a white body, white keycaps. Uh, the reason is, on the move button, you have advantage. You can input down and up together. Of course, back and forward together is also can. And now, on Pro model, you also can in input up and down together. So this is will benefit you if you want to use a certain shortcut for your execution. So now the WSDS and move button is equal. Uh, no one is stronger, both are equal. It's just a matter of preference. For me, I prefer WSD because it just makes sense. Up on the up, down on the down. It's easy for our brain, especially when we are old. Okay, <coughs> let's go for the installation. It's VB1, it's easy to open. First, you need to remove the nut and the screw. You just hold the nut on the other side. Just unscrew. Easy. Okay, we are not using this cover an, uh, anymore, so let's just put it and keep for other time. So if you want to use the move button exclusively in the future, you can put this back. Okay, so when you get the pro model, you get the sorry, the support plate and the spacer, also some screw. Okay, this is important to install the support plate because the plate on the pro model is just one layer and it's thin. Because of the contraction, we cannot use a thick plate. 
because this is row profile. So we put idea is to use a support plate so it will support from the bottom. So when you smash it, if in case you are in traveling and on your back is push in the grid force, it won't crack. Okay, to install this, it's easy. First, you need to remove the nut. And you put on this groove. There is two groove. You put inside the groove. Then cover using the support. Okay, so there is a screw, big screw, and there is two big screw. And we just use a small screw. So there is a short with Allen key and long with Phillips screw. So this is for VM6. This one is for VM6. And this one is for VB1 and VS1R. So we use this screw. Okay, you can tighten it. It's okay to tighten. Okay, it's enough. The support plate also keep the nut in place, so it's not falling apart. Next, you want to insert the spacer. So we include a three spacer. This for VM6, for VS1R and for Phoebe. So we'll use this one. Just put the spacer. It's okay to put on the both side. It's no problem. And then put the iris. So the screw is also holding the iris, the iris ring, so it won't rotate too much. Next, just prepare the screw, the nuts, I mean. Okay, so for VS1R and VM6 uh, and VB, you use this screw. If you are uh, installing on VM6, replace using this screw. This for VM6, you can replace using this. Okay, let's install. You just don't need to tighten it first. Just keep it loose. Because we want to rotate to find the best position for your posture. You can see there is a degree. So this horizontal is 5 degree, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. If you are a bigger person, you want to have a wide degree. If you are a smaller person, you can use a small degree. Also, it is possible to use to the other direction, but I don't know why you want to use this. For me personally, I use a 15 degree. So I will set to 15. That's great. And then I tighten it. Not too much, just enough. Okay, the installation is finished. Next is wiring, and the wiring is very easy. You see that we use a 5 pin connector. And you just remove the connect connector from the move button. 
then we just plug it show you just like this finish it's easy right I just put this connector to be away so next time and I want to use the move button I just replace this connector to this move button connector it's easy to switch okay so now your VB1 with WSD movement is ready so next video I will show you how to install the move switcher. This is getting interesting. This is the most fun of this VB1 case. Because using this switcher, you can switch using the MUF move button and WSD instantly using just using one touch. So you can play on the move button and then mid mid match or mid combo you want to switch to WSD click and you can play on it it's very fun okay but I want to complicate on this video I just want to keep it short I will show you this move switcher installation next video thank you again for watching and see you again